Hello everyone. Um, as you all know, uh, art and craft is a massive part of SNAP and what we do, we have lots of activities revolved around art and craft and I know that some of our learners will be missing that. So um, we've arranged for me to teach a art and craft session virtual um, and today we're going to be making a DIY Easter wreath. Okay, so the things that you need are a paper plate, but if you don't have a paper plate available, then if you go out into your kitchen and you find a cereal box or anything like that, then you get a plate and you just draw around a circle and then draw the inside, uh, cut the inside out. Okay, that's, um, then that can be your template as well. You also need some uh, patterned card and then I know that some of you guys won't have this sort of, sort of thing at home so I came up with another idea if you have some plain paper then you can just decorate cut out the shapes and decorate the Easter eggs and that that is what's going to stick around your roof okay now, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, how are we going to get the egg shape? This is how. I um, thought of this. So what you can do is you can get a toilet roll and just squeeze it. And then that kind of makes an egg shape. So if you just draw around that, then you're going to get your egg shape, cut around it, and then you're going to stick it on. Okay? So... Should we give it a go? I think so. So, you get your paper plates. You get some scissors. And you're just going to bend it in half, like so. And cut. Cut into it like this. And go around. Can you see? going around the edge like that until you cut all of the inside out and it should be like a wreath and that is going to be your template for your wreath And then what you're going to do, I found that you need a bit of wool or a bit of string, anything you can hang it up on your door with. So, you cut a little bit off and you're just going to tie that round at the start, okay? Just like that. Okay, and that going to hang on to your door then like I said if you need to decorate some eggs then you need some felt tips and plain bit of paper if you are lucky enough to have the coloured uh, card the patterned card then all you need to do is choose one that you like and you're just going to so always draw on the other side of your card so you don't get the pen mark you're going to get your toilet roll squeeze it so it's an egg shape you're going to put it down get your pen or pencil and just draw around like so so you should have a shape like that okay and then you probably need, I would say, about 20 eggs. So if you want to do what I've done here, where I've used two different types. If you see, I've used two different types. Yeah. Um, so that will be 10 of each. 10 of each egg. Okay. And then you're just going to cut your eggs out. Like so. Like that. And 
you're just going to glue the back of the egg there we go yeah and then we're going to stick it onto your wreath like so okay and then we're going to do exactly the same for all the eggs that you've cut out so all the way round like that okay i'm just going to do one more to show you tell you what i'll use my decorated egg okay with this one you're going to stick it overlap it a little bit and stick it like that and you're going to do that the whole way round okay and then with this little ribbon what you do at the end is you just slot it in between the two and hang it on the door okay you can be as creative as possible that's absolutely fine you can do all different colors different colors make it look absolutely amazing and you're going to hang it on your door and spread a bit of easter cheer so stay safe guys um and hopefully see you back at snap very very soon for more art and craft bye